Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Fabian Harris, Eastside. What's up? What's up, King? Fabian Harris, what you want, gang? Chilling, man. Chilling. Came to talk to you. Yeah. Have some fun while we do it. For sure, that man. Well, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. You know, uh, we talk a lot about Chicago legends on the music side or even on the street side, you know? Yeah. But this is the first time we was able to talk to one of uh, the Chicago legends on the basketball court. Facts. Okay? So I feel like we, 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 we hitting a new milestone today. You the first athlete to sit on the couch. Facts. So thank you for that. Thank you, you know for what I'm saying? having me and your, you know? Yeah. Your business associates. Thank, thank all y'all for having me. For sure, for sure. So let's, uh, let's get to know Fabian today, bro. Can you tell us what side of Chicago you from? East side. 78, Mesquite, okay. Ted Town. Okay. East side. Real East side. Can you tell us what it was like for you growing up over East? For me, personally, it was uh, hard. It was fun, but it was hard. What I mean by hard, like, which side you going to pick? You going to be an athlete or you going to be that? My whole life, that's, that's just what it was. That's why I'm so neutral to everybody. It was that. But for me, I had fun. Me, personally, I had fun. But yeah. it was hard. What 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 made it hard? Uh, Besides, like you said, it was you having to pick sides. But what was going on? You know, a for lot yourself. Was going on. For me. Yeah. That pick made a it side. hard. Pick a side. You gonna be one foot that way. You gonna be one foot that way. So for me, it was fun, but it was hard. And why it was hard? Because what side I'm gonna pick? Life, like for life. And like a thousand dollar job, a thousand. Or a hundred thousand dollar job, but they mistreat you, overdoing it. You not even at peace with none of that, or you at peace with this little what job you gonna pick? So me, I was like, I chose what I chose, and that's what it is. Okay. So it was fun, but it was hard. Okay. Now, when you mentioned, you know, where you're from, I heard you say 78th and Muskegon. Yeah. And when, when we do our little research, we know that that's an uh, area that, that some of Chicago's most famed rappers come from over there. Yeah. Uh, Muskegon and Essex. That's all, like family. you said, Terratown, right? Blood. Yeah, family. So tell us what, what your childhood was like, though, because I was reading that uh, your mom passed away at a young age. When you uh, were six. At, you was young? Yeah. You were street six years shit. old. She was, she was a street woman. They raped and cut her neck. Right. On Manistee, say night from Manistee. If you did your research, then you will know what I'm really saying. Right? It, it crushed me. So I said, it was fun, it was hard. It was like, I had to pick then with her. Right? What I want to get, we, we, I know who did that. We, still to this day, we know who did that. Right? It still was pick a side. Then I was six when I started understanding. What side I'm gonna pick? You gonna be on that? Or you want me to just go get some millions or go get some thousands playing ball? Right? I always been a leader. It's me and you, big bro. I always been that. I'm not no sent off dummy. So it's always pick a side. Just remember that. And I'm telling you what I'm telling you, but I ain't telling you what I'm telling you. It was always pick a side. I could have been weird and been weird 100 years. A motherfucker would have took me out. But. Chose the right side. I'm proud of that. Yeah. I'm proud of it. For sure. I'm proud of it. And as far as um, any 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 other kids your mom had? Yeah, I got all her brothers. Okay. Big brothers. Big big people from my area. Real big people. Like real big, bigger than the rappers. Blood. Oh. How it many was brothers? Five of us. It was five. five. Okay. Two dead. G Fazo got killed. Right? My mom's got raped. She was eight months pregnant. I went to two funerals. I was six and one. My baby brother right there laying there with my mom's. Same casket, gang. It was a big casket on Faison grave. Right? Two dead, three still alive. I don't make the third. Mm. But I'm the second oldest. But him, he him. No rap, he him. In real life. <laughs> Nine properties, right or wrong. Everything hundred thousand. Your brother. Everything he drive hundred thousand. Yeah. Old school, new school, right? Yeah. On phase the rip, right? 
the real G. The G. G phase on, that's cool. The, but the real G, right? All right. That's how. You see, pick a side. Yeah. Pick a side. All right, I chose the right side. Love them. Everything what it is. Yeah. Business man. Real business man. In real life. Real businesses. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Real, real pick a side with me. I chose the right side. I love it. For sure. That, for sure. Yeah. That. Can you tell us about your brother, G Fazo? We, we hear him. What you want to hear about? I'm going to give you a little bit on that. What you want to hear? Well, we hear him mention a lot, you know, in yeah. G Herbo songs. Yeah. Um, I made sure I wore my white Air Force Ones. You definitely got them on. You know what I'm saying? Um, who, who was Fazo? What made him so special? Why am I walking around talking about I got G Fazos on my feet? Uh, uh, to me, and Shawty right here on that couch, uh, to. To, to everybody that relate to him, best friend, right? Yeah, all right, cool. So to Blood, to, to why I got famous, this is his favorite shoe. No, literally, in real, every day. Herb looked up to him. Mansky, Mad Max, right? You get what I'm saying? So out of respect, Shawty started talking. Rapping, shit, it's a guy you looked up to. Never stood the wrong. I don't stare people wrong either. I'll give you knowledge, peace, love, right? So he respected him so much that Herb popped it. And shit, that's why you got him on. That's why, shit, that's why little bro got him on, but he know phase on way before any of that. And that's what it is. Yeah. Herb just loved my brother, over love him. On that type of time. And, her just showing love and it that it went it went up. It went viral. Nike do need to give us a check though, ain't a lie. But it went over viral. That G Fazo real favorite shoe. That's her favorite shoe. That's my favorite shoe. That's your favorite shoe. Everybody from over East from my hood, that's their favorite shoe. Why? G Fazo is special. To a lot of people. He meant a lot to a lot of people. And that's why you walking around with him on. He meant a lot to that person that rapped her and her blew it up and and that's how it went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just how it went. Just that's exactly, that's exactly how it went. Yeah. But behind the shoe, can you talk to us about G Fazo? I'll give you a little bit. That's your little brother. That's my little brother. Uh, cool, calm, collective. Can't disrespect because it's like how you want to take it. But uh, as, as a big brother to him, I'm going to give you this. That night, April 12th, that's the first time I never protected him. I'm going to protect you. That's why everybody love me. I protect shit. Protect the herd, baby. Mellow, buck still this day. I protect shorty. Shorty protect me. You get what I'm saying? On that shit, he gonna over protect me. Right? Over. But that's just what I was. That night, I just went there. I'm at a senior all-star game. Proviso West, April 12th, 12 o'clock. He got no. That's the first time I never protect my little brother. It's the first time I never protected him. He died. It's the first time. Right. So you say you was playing basketball at the time? I got a senior all-star game. RPDK. Me and DK, Coach DK. My boy. All right. My, my pops, my step-pops. For sure, for sure. Took me to a senior all-star game. Signed with Houston, correct? That's the last one. I done played in all of them. I'm him. First team, all city, all state. I'm him. This last one before I go to college. Right? Mm. Phase on outside, doing what he do. Gamble, that's why I'm gamble to this day. That's the first time. Literally the first time. And he getting up. So he got killed at a dice game? Over a dice game. Over somebody that got beat up by him. We I mean, a little bit. And this is after this. And then he couldn't take it. But that somebody is very close. Very, very close to my heart. Right. No back, no, 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 what's the new word, op? None of that. That, close, very close. All right, that's it on that. Right. Love him. For sure. Can you tell us what age did you first pick up the basketball? Football was first, that was my first sport. I went to Myra Bradwell, won a city championship game. I'm, look, it's, watch this, it's so great. Vito, right, I'm, how I'm in fifth and sixth. I'm in fifth, how I'm playing on seventh and eighth with Vito and these type of legends in my hood. 
Where I come from. Wow, God was nice. It was football first. I won a city championship game. This is how I do the city championship game. Fake it to G Fazo. He's the running back. I'm the quarterback. Throw it to one of his best friends, White Bread. G Bread. Touchdown game. But I picked up a basketball, had power, had power. I got recruited to come to have power to play football. G Fazo was way better than me. It's not, that's not a myth because he gone. Rest in peace to bro. That was real facts. That was real facts. G Fazo was way better than me. He hooped. I was just quick and fast. I was a football star, right, little bro? All right, my appendix burst. I got this whole wound. I had that part, sophomore year. I was a dual, you know, played both. But I, I love football. My big brother was a fucking, if you know my big brother, who the star running back at uh, Simeon then? D. Rosier, my oldest brother. Right, I just wanted to be like him. Right. Always wanted, to, always, still to this day. What I just told you, I still chasing that. Him, that's the only one. He never steered me wrong. Only gave me knowledge. So what I'm doing, I'm giving it back to you, him, him, you see? Mm -hmm. You, whatever. Mm -hmm. What I do, what I do, my oldest brother. And then shit, my best friend got killed. So I was a, I was a football star. They know Fabian, they know. And then once my appendix burst and I got my energy back, my weight back, I just did basketball. And it, it, it took me across the world. Yeah. Yeah, real rap. So you didn't start playing organized basketball until high school? I was playing it, but I really wasn't taking it serious. I was trying to just follow my big brother. Okay. Just be football. I just football, basketball, football. But I knew at one point I was going to have to make a decision. Like I just said, it's both sides. It's always going to be both sides of me. Which one? I want to do this or do that? But it's got to be calculated. If I do that, if that's what it is, I don't know the future, but if that's what it is, I got to get 110%. And when I got healthy from my appendix exploding, hospital training two weeks, about to die in that bitch, right? Chose basketball, right? Put on, right? Put on. Yeah. Yeah. So you're definitely known um, in Chicago as a basketball legend, specifically in high school. Yeah. You went to Hyde Park High School. Yes, sir. Can you tell us um, some of the accolades you received throughout your high school career? High school? Yeah. First team, all city, all state, all area. Number one point guard lead, Chicago, class 2010, Fabian Morris Harris. That's me. Word. Yeah. Basketball, only one I was chasing was Amon Starks. He on that list with me, too. But I passed him up. DK said, shoot it. Said, I overshot it. 26.5 a game. 26.5 a game. First team, all city. Only, only junior on varsity, 09, right? Only junior on varsity, starting with real legends when they come to that part. I'm not the only one. Malcolm Griffin, my best friend. Only junior putting in work. As a junior, I averaged 14 points. That's a lot of points as a junior. And Malcolm shot all the balls. But I, I, did, I did my work, my senior. I, I really did my work. work. I did my work. I put it in. I put it on. I, I did that. Yeah. So what was high school like at that time, um, you know, in the hallways? You know what I'm saying? You For me, start, this shit was... Yeah, you were oh, starting basketball oh, oh, player. Oh, I'm ladies, man. All, all the bad ones. That's mine. Or Faison's or some of my peoples I'm still close with from them areas that way. But for me, personally, it was like, it was fun for me. I, ain't, I, ain't, I was me. I ain't had to fake or betray... Or, or image or nothing. I was just came in at me. I came in me, I left me. Just more popularly. But for me, it was fun. I seen a lot of stuff in there. I witnessed a lot of stuff with me, the whole thing. Still to this day, I'm just me. I'm gonna always be me. I'm gonna leave this earth me. I came in me, I'm gonna leave me. Me is cool, calm, collected, peace and love. Right. See, it was fun for me. Yeah. Person was fun. So like you shared with us, you know, toward the end of your senior year, um, when your brother passed away, how did that affect you moving forward? Did you go away to college right away, or what happened when you graduated high school? So on that night, April 12, 2010, this real rap, my, my signing day to DePaul University is the 13th. A big brother coming back from Jackson State. My, my grandma, she coming from St. Bernard Hospital. 
My granddaddy CPD. He's coming. Saturday's the 13th. So when Faison got hit up and he lost his life that night, shit, what school? Shit, I wouldn't even, I ain't have to go back. Personally, I ain't have to go back. Personally, I didn't. But DK told me it ain't gonna look good. When I got my mind back right, it ain't look good. But that night, I'm at DK, I'm at his crib. That night, boom, when it happened, he dropped me off. We go to South Shore Hospital. G Faison right here. He gone. He right, I'm looking at him. Still traumatized about this. I'm looking at my little brother. He right here. For the first time, I didn't protect him. He's right here, laying here. Gone. No life in him, you. No life in him, gang. That shit still fuck me to this day, bro. It's my little brother. So D DK take me to his crib. I'm talking about a week straight. Me and Pharaoh, we straight. Loving on me. Making sure I'm good. And... That night just turned my whole hood up. Meaning like, everybody just started doing well. That was a spark for losing. You know, like when people sacrifice, when people, it's like, I ain't gonna say it was, a, but in that type of, it turned everybody up. Everybody. My first year of college, I signed the University of Houston. I signed, but I posed went to the Paul. I couldn't understand when he got hit. The next day, my signing day to the Paul. Shout out Billy Garrett, who was the coach that, you know, I was coming, baby, but, he you know, I couldn't even deal with Chicago no more. How is this person that I love on, right, you get what I'm saying? I couldn't even, under, I couldn't even process it. So when that happened, it turned me up. I went to the University of Houston, ACT, SAT, ACTs, SATs? Both. Both. Whatever one. If somebody wanted to do their research, shout out Larissa. Reese. Mm -hmm. I actually know him in real life. Quick story on that. Yeah. Me and Coach Lou, Coach Lou used to go get Lil Reese from the Calumet building. He played with G Fazo. Yeah. Small uh, yeah, no. Nah. I just, I just, nah, he really liked, he was really good. like that. No, nah, he was really like that. He was a good basketball player, right? Anger management, but he was real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to go get him at the Calumet building. Me and Coach Lou, who we asked him about who Coach Lou is. And the Cadillac, right? Me. Faison going, Coach Lou going to get a little reason from that building. But back to that, it turned me up. I went to Houston and then followed through with my test scores. Lev went to Juco, College Southern Idaho, won a national championship, played with Pierre Jackson. Missed everything in Juco basketball. Okay, hold on, you just talk too fast. So you say you went to Houston, you say your test scores failed, so you had to go to a Juco? Yes, sir. That's what you just said? Yes, sir. Where was the Juco you had to go to? College of Southern Idaho. Where is that? CSI, Idaho. Okay, so you went from Houston to Idaho? Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's a stop before that. You want to hit a stop? Yeah. So, this Houston, they didn't fall through. I went to Howard. Shout out Jay Carter. Them. They won it 09, Juco. Howard. I sang there, me and Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson played for the Mac Urban Fire. He was the number one big man. He's 6'9". He was the number one big man. I asked him to transfer to High Park. I just, left. I just lost in the city championship game 09, right? I'm becoming me. Right? So I just needed one more piece. Malcolm Griffin gone. He went to school, it's over. It's all on me now. That's why I was all on points. It was all on me. I asked, um, we at uh, Fosco Park by UIC, right? Hey Phil, don't know Phil from a can of paint at this time. I'm playing against Royce, killing me, cooked me that day. I asked Phil, we eating. I just looking, but I know him though. I know of him, you know? I'm like, yo, what you think about transferring to High Park? He transferred. Let's get to the summer. We kill the whole summer. We winning everything in the summer. Jimmy Collins tournament, UIC. We, we killing that part. My senior, 2010, that going into that senior, we killing everything. We the number two ranked team coming in. They rule him eligible. So why I say I'm so loyal? Why I'm so loyal? 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 What's the word? Loyal. Loyal. All right. This is what Phil do. He had that part. His grandma registered him. He there. Don't know him from a can of paint, but he came. Now, season start, they ruled him ineligible. 6'9", Illinois, DePaul, Phil Jackson, everybody on them. Purdue, everybody on them. When it didn't fall through, he, he personally called me. Hey, bro, I'm at Howard. Man, they just won this motherfucker, man. Jay Crowder, no, man, he going to Marquette, man. Me and you, we. I asked him to do that. Don't know if I'm a can of paint. 
He asked me to do that. I went there, right out to Houston, went right to Howard. Okay. Got in trouble, got locked up. This real public record. Got locked up, Walmart, me and him in there tweaking in Walmart. Google that, theft. I'm in there, Spring, Texas, in jail, holding cell. Kick me and him right out. Mm. Greyhound on our ass, we on our way back to the rack. This is the first time I ever disrespect my family. Sorry, you get it? I'm embarrassed. Greyhound on our way. Dexter Young called, my old coach at Park with DK. Faye, Faye, everybody know it. It's Tribune, Sun Times. I'm over goofy. You feel me? Because I fronted my move for the first time ever. First time ever disrespecting my family. The name. Uh, call, call, Howard. They, they couldn't keep me because that was weird what I did. Midland calling. Call of Southern Idaho. Everybody hit my line. They hitting this line too. Man, listen, I say feel. I ain't answer no more calls, bro. You see, I just gave little bro, I ain't answer no more calls. It's what it is. I live in a moment. Right or wrong, little bro. Where I'm at, you, I live in a moment. I am, bro. You answer these calls. He answered. It's Dexter Young. Hey, man, what y'all think about coming to uh, 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 San Diego City College? You see the stops that I did before I went to college Southern Idaho? Left there. Got it to a field. Verbal. Chopped it up years later. Love field to this day. But... I couldn't understand how the first time I ever disrespected my family name for the first time. I did that and then I went to uh, San Diego City College. Off the Greyhound, both of us. We stopped in Little Rock, me and Phil. Ticket, all that, gone. It didn't feel right. I didn't even feel at home. I was, still, I was too embarrassed to even play basketball. I couldn't even understand basketball at that. Phase on getting out, first time ever, you know, Disrespecting my family name, right. called a dumb decision at Walmart. Right. This is Google. This is real. If you know me, then you know. This is the first time I ever. Basketball, that's the last thing I'm thinking about. And then, you know, I tie back in to me. Got, got some OGs that, you know, fave, do this, do this, do that. Okay. And then I signed with College Southern Idaho. Won a national championship my first year. Yeah. We go to second year, Juco first team, All American. Texas AM, DePaul again, Tennessee. I wanted him in the country. Chose Texas a &M. Right, and stops. Could have chose a different route. I was always two sides for me, which route I want to choose. But real life right now, I think all that, like, I really think that's God, like, telling me, you need to slow up. You need to humble yourself more, meaning, like, stop moving so fast. How we was about to start him, he was like, while I'm stumbling, it's calculated, I gotta process it. Then I talk. You ask me a question. That's why I'm fluent. Right? For sure. Yeah, so, you know, not only did you, uh, you what it sounds like is you kept going. You never gave up. I'm not you know giving up. So, no. not only were you battling, you know, having to pick a side, you know, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. But regardless, you kept going. Yes, sir. You know, you lost your brother. You kept going. You failed to test you kept going you got arrested from walmart you kept going you know what i'm saying yes sir so that's what i'm picking up the most about your story so talk to us about texas a m was that like the biggest basketball stage you ever played on um i always wanted to be a division one ball player right so i got goals i got four goals and watch it's all gonna line up because it's a side i had to pick i always wanted to be a division one basketball player mm -hmm. i signed out of high park to the university of houston i was there i was down there summer school all that i was there so I, I, I reached that goal of being a basketball player, but the first time, this is my first time ever seeing Harris on the back of my jersey. Man, when I seen that man, and it said Texas A&M University, you. I'm like, oh my God, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I arrived, I'm, I'm right here. Right. It's one goal. But it was fun. Shout out to Oscar Russo, my roommate. Oscar Russo was your roommate? Yes, sir. That's what's up. I got real stories. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> my, Alice Caruso was my roommate. Yeah. Every post, everything. It was me and Alice Caruso. That's what's up. Yeah. How long were you at Texas A&M? Two years. Okay. I did two years. College Southern Idaho. Won championship first year. Second year, I told you my mm -hmm. everything. Juco, all region 18 player of the year. Number five, Juco player in the country. I'm 5'9". In the country. 6'10", 6'11", 7 footers. Why I'm 5? Why I got all these schools? Put the work in. Yeah. 
when that all that happened, you asked me to turn me up. When Faison got it, overturned me up. I put my head down, put my steel toe boots on. I went to work. Shout out Stephon Hanna. He did that for me. I love him. That's why he, everything to me, everything to me. God, daddy, and my twins, they on their way. Shout out my twins. They on their way, the boys. Why I got the twins? He a twin. Right. He lost a brother. Right. Baby Drench and Griner, my twin little cousins. He lost a brother. Why do Fabian get the twins? It's God. What you tell me, little bro? God, right? God. Why I get the twin boys? God. But yeah, it overturned me up. As well. I appreciate that, King. It overturned me up. I just went to work. Yeah. Who's stopping what? Only I can stop myself. Me. Not you. Not nothing. Me. I'm going to keep going. Uh, now, you know, I know all Hooper's dreams is to make it to the NBA. Yes, sir. Can you tell us what stopped you from making it to the NBA? What stopped it? An excuse? So this is, this is an excuse. But real fact, it's the same as an excuse because I don't make them. Uh, what stopped it? Um, real. It's like throwing somebody on the bus if I actually give you the real answer on camera. Oh, OK. So I ain't going to throw them on the so bus. So it has something to do with somebody else? It has something to do with me, too. Right. Well, can, just you get, like, can you give us the accountability version? Yeah, that, and I hold myself accountable. Right. <sighs> Wrong training. It wasn't the same training. Okay. Too much. I'm one year. I'm about to go. I'm about to make that leap. I averaged 13.5 my junior year at Texas a and 5'9". You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is average 16, 17, 18. You look at a million dollars right now. Right now in the league, maybe, whatever. Overseas, real overseas, a million. Improper, wrong training by somebody I love there. But I think I train wrong. If I'm holding myself account, I think I train wrong. Okay. And that's why I ain't go. Okay. Right. But you have been able to play professional basketball overseas, correct? That's my second goal. I always wanted to be a professional. My yeah. first one was to go, tell him to give you four goals. Mm -hmm. My first one was to be a Division One athlete. Right. When I seen my name, Harris on the back of that a and jersey, right. oh my God, I am here. I'm right here. Big ass MacBooks like that and all these lockers. Raw ass facility, nice, beautiful facility. Beautiful food, beautiful women, teachers there, learning specialists there, everything. I got everything, all my resources. Right here on the, dang. First year, professional. I said, oh my God. So fell. Look, so crazy. I took them to the championship game my first year. Who was that? So fell. So fell? It's a French team. Okay. In France. Okay. It's in So fell. It's like five minutes from Strasbourg. Strasbourg is the biggest city. It's like, it's, it's a lot of big cities. This, in this, this passport lingo right now, right? Yeah, I'm passport. I'm 12 countries. Cause Stand. I ain't got my passport yet. Nah, you're so gonna get it, King. You're gonna get it, King. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm gonna get it soon. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get it, King. First year, I take my team to the finals. Finals. Right. I did that. I put the work in. I was just hungry. I just lost a little brother that turned me up. What I'm stopping for? Why would I give up? I just lost my best friend. What I'm giving up for? He didn't give up. Shit, he might have fought for his life. I wasn't there. He didn't give up to it. It was time to give up. I'm 32. When it's time to give up, I'm going to be retired, but I'm already setting my, you get it, whatever, coaching, whatever, real estate, whatever. I'm already setting myself up with connections, all that, for later on. I can't play ball forever, but my first year, I took him to the finals. Sue fell. Right. I just wanted to be a basketball player. I wanted to be pro. I did that. Yeah. My other goal, I wanted to coach college basketball. I did that. Okay. Can't even, I did that. I'm still coaching now. I'm still playing. So all my goals, I'm living it. That's why I'm so at peace. That's why I'm so at peace. I'm, every goal I check, making money, millions, that's going to come. But every goal I check, now I got twins on the way. I always wanted this. Twin boys or girls? Boys. Two boys on the way. Yes, sir, King. Yes, sir. How, how soon are you going to put the basketball in their hands? Right away. <laughs> Mandatory. Ain't none of that hanging out, ain't no both sides or pick a side. 
straight ball. If they suburban kids, we move away, whatever. All basketball. Mm -hmm. Three workouts a day, I'm gonna tell you that. Sure, we gotta go. I was almost there, they, it's mandatory they go. Cause I'm gonna hold them accountable for all their actions, all of them. I know last year you was on the uh, the crew league. Yes, sir. The basketball Shout team. Shout out Herb. Right, you played with G Herbo? Yes, sir. 150 Dream Team. Yes, sir. Tell us about that experience. We, we watched it on Revolt. The experience, like, I got the call from Herb, Mickey, her uh, bodyguard, Smoke. Hey, bro, you gonna take a deal? It's multiple calls. It ain't the same time. I ain't want a group call or nothing. It's like multiple calls. Because I did actually take a deal. Back to France, I did take a deal. Okay. But my departure, my time, my flight time, I was free to just, you know, do that. So I agreed. I called Stefan Hanna. Hey, let's go do that. 250000 Me and you? Me and you? We can go win that easy. Me and you on some Chicago bully, whatever. We can win that easy. Then we go get Big Dre, DeAndre. Right. Everybody else, cool. Shout out Mel Bucket. My last deal, he, did, he was the general manager of my team in Mexico. Shout out, shout out that last deal. DeAndre, Mel Bucket, security, cameraman, G Herbo, Mickey Hosted, the manager, uh, Cess, A1. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, add on John Taylor, uh, Jordan Stevenson, the one that came to the rack and killed everybody. Add on. Got flew in, but uh, it was what it was. For me, it was what it was, and like we got all the way to the championship game. Crushed my heart, I ain't touch a ball. When we lost to Chris Brown and them team for that bread, that real money, I ain't touch a ball. We stayed out there. Shout out G Money. He gave me the Tesla, I had that bitch a month. If you know, you know, I had that bitch a whole month. I'm phased on great. Do you, I'm blue. We just lost. The, the, the payout, I can talk to you, big bro. 40, I call Steph, but I love Steph. He always held to me. 42, 39, K. That's the payout. We blew it. We lost by six, seven, eight, whatever, to the Chris Brown team. But our deal was what you just said, profit. We for to give it to a non-profit, herb shit. Right, we for to give it to that. We lost, and we gonna get them some. They ain't do that. Shout out Chris Brown, though. He ain't no, I don't hate him. But he didn't hold up his end of the bargain. Okay. Still love him though. We kicked it at his crib all. I got all that on. I ain't got to show everything, but I love him. But he ain't hold up his end of the bargain, and it blew me. It blew me so bad. Not that, not him, but losing. <laughs> and we could have. I needed that money. You, I needed that. Then I needed that. Cause I'm finna go, and then go and get. All right. Over blew me. I ain't touch the ball. Shout out G Money though. I was, I was, I had fun though. I had fun outside of it, but yeah. ball, I was blue. I ain't touch a ball whole month, bro. We in LA down there for a whole month, right, Cap? <laughs> Nothing. Kicking it, having fun, just enjoying ourselves. Yeah. DJ, you go crazy.